Welcome to the Ceramics Detailing Channel. So today I want to show you how to turn off the interior lighting system in the rear of a Ford Transit Custom. Okay, so this is our new detailing van. I'm going to do a full build series on how we kit this particular van out. It's a 2017 Ford Transit Custom, but it's actually the M Sport series. Now, one of the issues with Ford Transits and most commercial vehicles as well, is if, you're, if you open the back of the vehicle, it, it normally has interior lighting which comes on and very few models actually allow you to turn that interior lighting off. So if, like I'm doing today, you're working in the rear of the van for an extended period of time, there is a possibility that the battery will deplete and you'll actually uh, run out of power to start the vehicle again. So I just want to show you in this video a very, very simple step to turn off the interior lighting and the back of this Ford Transit Custom without having to disconnect any wires or take out any fuses. So just a very quick look at our Ford Transit. Really pleased with it. It's a 2017 long wheelbase DCIV, which stands for double cab in van, which means it's got either five or six seats. It's got a second row of seats. This being the M Sport, or MSRT, which they later became, has a really nice body kit. OZ Racing wheels, these are the 18 inch, you can get 20 inch wheels for this particular van. Nice sticker kit. And this sticker kit is all original. This is also the rare tailgate model. So most of these vans being work vans come with what's called barn doors, the two doors at the back. This is the tailgate, which is ideal for our business, doing detailing and paint correction, ceramic coating, that type of thing. Gives you a lot of weather protection at the back. Also ideal for mechanics, which is why the AA and the RAC in the UK choose tailgate vans. Inside being the earlier M Sport model full leather. So three seats in the back, two in the front. Actually chose to buy the single seat on the passenger side. So in, in effect another captain seat. Just prefer that as a layout rather than um, the option which you can have a, a bench two seat on the passenger side in these vehicles. Just a fantastic van, I'm really pleased with it. So let's get to the problem. So just starting to fit out the back of the vehicle and we are going to have this tailgate open for quite some considerable time, however we've got two Although the low power lights, they're going to be on for a few hours. So there's a potential to run the vehicle battery down. And there's no way of turning those off that's convenient. The interior lighting within the back of the vehicle, there's a switch um, just above where the driver sits, but nothing for the back. So it's actually surprisingly easy to turn off the lights in the back of a Ford Transit and it's all to do with the locking mechanism for the door and it's this part so on the tailgate it'll be this part on the barn door it'll obviously be the door where this part of the um, lock fits the sensor which tells the computer in the vehicle that this door is closed and then obviously the, the computer will then switch off the lights in the back is actually based in this lock so the way to turn the lights off for the back and keep the doors uh, remaining open is if we just take the key for the actual vehicle and just sitting at the top 
is part of the lock we push it once and we get this bar coming across we then push it a second time and it clicks into place a second time and the interior lights will then switch off after it's roughly about a minute so there's a timer on those lights and those lights will go out after about a minute and there you go the lights have now switched off okay but that is not the most important thing the most important thing is this section of the lock and what we need to do is put something in there which will prevent the door from accidentally closing because now we've artificially closed the lock off to, to turn the lights off if we then try and close that door whether it's a barn door or, or it's a um, tailgate what will happen is the lock being closed will smash against this part of the locking mechanism and you could potentially snap something within the lock so if ever you're going to do this always make sure that you cover this static part of the lock to ensure you don't accidentally close the door and that will protect the lock this will always be a reminder that when you finish doing whatever job you're doing within the van you know to undo the lock before you actually close it again really really important part so I hope you can see this but the lock is now in the closed position even though the door's open which is what we've managed to do with the key so there's a bar across here <coughs> sorry there's a bar across here and as I said if you accidentally close this you forget about it that the bar on the bottom part of the lock is going to smash into there the way to release the lock before you actually close it is just to operate the button which is just above the um, the rear number plate and that will open the lock up now it's safe to close the door